But those who think of the new things all the time, they want to have something new all the time, then they are very much mistaken that when they do like this, what we call is a tomfoolery with the new things, they can land themselves into terrible messes. And that's what exactly has happened to most of the Western countries, that everything new they try. Now the new craze is cocaine, all right, have cocaine. I mean, even I would not be surprised if Prince Philip takes to such a thing or somebody takes to thing like that. I mean, everybody wants to try new and if you say you cannot try, then they say, why? Why not? This is a very big problem with the Western mind. So you all people should also understand, don't try new things in Sahaja Yoga. Sahaja Yoga is a traditionally built thing. Don't try anything new in Sahaja Yoga. Whatever we have is more than sufficient. You don't try anything new. People who tried new things have jumped into problems. So do not try something new. Like somebody said that nowadays, say I heard, in London we had some people who started giving lectures and uh, <coughs> giving new methods of Sahaja Yoga suddenly and they all went mad. I mean, their vibrations were crazy, I didn't know what to do with them. I was quite surprised. I said, why did you try a new method like that? What was the need to try a new method? Oh, they said, well, we thought better try this one. But I said, I've already told you all the methods have you tried, have you perfected yourself? Better try those which I've told you. And then you can ask me and then start something. But you must understand what you are doing. And also I've seen mediocre Sahaja Yogis always do that like that. Try some new method and they'll come out with this thing, now I'll tell you how to circulate your breath. Why? To circulate your breath? Suddenly they find out a new method. It's a common thing, but these are sometimes could be very sinister people also. So be careful, there is no need to try new methods. Now you have jumped onto that awareness where you have to just be steady. So don't try at this point something new, just steady yourself, steady yourself in balance, that's very important. Second point is that everyone should be knowledgeable in Sahaja Yoga. But some people are so funnily knowledgeable that I'm sometimes surprised. Like there was a fellow who was homosexual or nonsensical thing, and then he told some people that, yes, you see, Mother says it's all right once in a while. I never said so, I can never say such a thing. Then somebody said, drinking, all right. Mother said, how could I say? There's no compromise. Somebody says, it's all right, you can do some business. I never said so. No, you cannot do, these things are not, they are not meant for you, don't have to do it at all. So anybody who comes out with such ideas, you tell them nothing of the kind. There's nothing like that, there's no compromise in Sahaja Yoga, no compromise. Whatever methods we have learned, let us practice them to establish ourselves and establish others. You must keep to your maryadas, to your limits. Do not try to fly. Some people think that they are greater Sahaja Yogis and they will do this and they will do that. Then remember, that is wrong. You have to humble down yourself. And remember that when you humble down, you will realize that only the humble people are steady people.